Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 46 degree Friday. Hey, it's Friday the 13th. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anybody superstitious out there? But anyway, Friday the 13th, May 12th of 2022. It uh, it's kind of foggy hazy this morning, but it's supposed to be nice most of the day. We'll take it. There'll be no complaints from the smoke fam, I can tell you what. Are you looking for me, Danny Magoo? Are oh, you taking a nap over there in the bushes somewhere, old mother? Oh. My little shop buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> I know he is. Don't jump on me now. Nope, don't get all riled up. <laughs> Look at this trucker. Oh, and he's stopping there. He came across that dirty parking lot like he was pissed off. There's bang, bang, bang. Big mud puddles flying in the air and everything rattling. Maybe uh, I'll take a potty break like right now or something. Look how light it is here on a Friday morning. Gas didn't go down any. <laughs> but we only got two days worth of run on it today we're just doing it so we have to stop when we get off work we like just go straight home on fridays so kelly's going last night she goes my phone's at four percent it's been doing that for the last couple nights she goes something's running so i do it you know a hard restart she's still running her my old iphone 7 plus and uh so anyway i did a hard restart on it and uh checked the condition of the battery battery is dead it says it's seriously compromised see a apple repair center or contact apple whatever click a link here you can do it all online but she really likes that green iphone 13 plus is that what we call them now or max yeah so i'm thinking about getting her that thing sneak a little extra birthday mother's Bed day thing in there all right mama yes, that's a very peaceful drive door although it's kind of cloudy here in vancouver yeah. but still mostly sunny it's not wet it's not wet no. that's what key counts? yep uh, hay fever i didn't take my hay fever medicine yeah. last night been it's, dying it's been morning. kicking me all the way to work yeah couldn't do it while i'm still at the house and go oh yeah you forgot to take your hay fever yeah <laughs> now he gets in the car and just oh, yep no. you think with all the hepa filters and everything in here just clear you out but yeah, we probably got pollen on us yeah. or something. Well, Mama, yes, have yourself a wonderful Friday. You too, sweetheart. And I'll see you as the day goes on, and most importantly, when the day is over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Check out the 2022 XR650L. It's exactly the same bike. But look, it's white with black wheels. And a black seat that thing's been red for like ever this one is vin number zero 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 two the second 22 built i'd like to have that those things are like dr650s they just live forever and turn into something good to eat man this is another one that came with it and this is vin number 47 i think Amazing they took that old RFVC classic and just switched the colors a little bit and it looks like a whole nother motorcycle. These things you AIS off the um off the side there, put some some block off plates. Several different people have them. Um I think we used to use JD jetting kits and kind of seal some things off. Get her happy and if you want her stock you can you can remove the restrictor out of the exhaust it doesn't add a lot of sound to it, it just breathes a lot better and i think there's a, a little thing on the intake as well if i remember right good old classic honda it's funny things still in the crate the way they used to come all them years ago <laughs> 1993 is when they started this. 
and literally changed nothing, just colors. The DR650s, they started in 96, haven't changed a thing. In, I don't know, 14, somewhere in there, they they quit their stainless steel head pipes and they quit powder coating them. I don't know what the Honda's made of. I would imagine probably the same thing. You never see them rusting or anything. Cool bike, so really tall though. Crazy tall. This is a 21 S1000RR. Guy's got all kinds of trickery stuff on there. Look at all the cool stuff. Anyway, he crashed it and broke the dash. $2,100 later, I reprogrammed him a new one in there. That's the way he brought it in. I just have, I don't have any of the hardware to hold the dash on, so I just don't want it to flop around. But I was able to program it. it scared me. $2,100 dash, you don't want any mistakes. <laughs> that worked out great. We're in our hometown of Toledo. Mama had to stop for a quick little thing at Red Apple. Mm -hmm. And from here, we're heading back to the house. Gateway to Mount St. Helens. I like the little theater thing right yeah. there. It's kind of cool. Holy moly, that catering place is uh, kind of busy. Up for an event or yeah. Little old town of Toledo. She's such a quaint, quiet little place. Home sweet home. Good lord. It's 47 degrees and it's been raining since <laughs> since right after we got home. We still have 40 minutes of daylight. 8:36 is is sunset tonight. <laughs> it's nuts. But anyway, I, I got something from uh, one of the two guys that uh, that's something I use a lot, and uh, there's an updated version of it. And man. Am I excited about it? Because I use this thing a lot. So hang tight. So you guys know what a huge fan I am of these little Milwaukee inflators. This is a little M12 powered version. I mean, I use this thing a lot. Don't know why, but out of nowhere, it's, um, it's always starting off at one PSI. Don't know why. Uh, and I don't know what to do to... There's got to be a reset or something somewhere. I just never figured out... Just never figured out how to do it. But anyway, for like filling up, like say, Flirty's tire, a lawnmower tire is a good example until I put that ride on in, which, by the way, this stuff is no joke. I'm a huge fan of... of of ride on stuff anyway. This is not the balancer stuff that you guys heard me talking about. This is their uh, just a strictly a tire sealant. Yeah, I haven't been putting air in the lawnmower tires in a long time. It's kind of expensive. Twenty two dollars for this big old bottle. But you know, to do all four lawnmower tires a little over a bottle and a half. But anyway, I was out every time I mowed the lawn I had to air the tires up. I did get a, some hog wire in one of the tires, and I used that uh, Dura, whatever the heck it's called, that plug kit that I got for my BMW travel kit thing. <laughs> um, I was able to fix that, but, you know, just different things you run. It's lawnmower tires, it's always a thing. It seems like they're always leaking. But, yeah, that stuff works really good. And this pump, so it has like a timeout feature. It doesn't just go, rah, I keep running. I think it's a overheat protection thing or something. Uh, so it, it uh, shuts itself off. And it takes forever. That little pump is so slow. It's crazy. Well, let me show you this. The M18 powered. This is the big daddy. This thing probably weighs... I don't know, a couple, three times what that weighs. At least three times. It doesn't even have a battery in it. You can see you can put those up to a huge sale M18. And uh, this thing rock and rolls. You can, you know, there's like 100, 100 pound tires. 
100 PSI tires. It's rated for a maximum of 150. Let's see, tires over over 100 pounds. And I forget what the thing was. There's some little flyer somewhere that will fill up a 33-inch top off. So, you know, where are you starting at? You know, I love those little things. Top off a 33-inch light truck tire in under a minute. So this thing rock and rolls. I got it from the Cornwall Tool Guy. They're, uh, I mean, even on Amazon, it seems like they're at MSRP right now, probably because they're new. So it's 169 without the battery. Nothing comes with batteries anymore. And let me warn you, um, I haven't looked for myself, but I've heard several people, including the tool guy, saying to get an M18 batteries are uh, kind of a trick right now. Um, I've, I've got, I've only got three of them, but they last so long that I literally have one back on a charger before the other one wears out. So I got the nine amp, the five amp and the four amp. I use my weed eaters, the blowers and use the heck out of them. Look at them, they're already getting dirty all the time using them outside and rough and tough stuff. But this is, this is what it runs on. These, instead of the little tiny, these little guys, I don't know if I get that out with one hand. Hold on. These are the, these are the M12s. And these are the M18s. Needless to say, much larger. Of course, I've got some for drill motors and stuff that are just like the one app and they're really skinny. But anyway, the, the, bigger they are like this thing uh, i got this thing on a fluke thing through amazon a couple three years ago i think it was for 57 bucks these things are normally that's almost 300 dollars for that battery and things are crazy and that's what the that's what you put on the big boys when you want some real horsepower but uh that being said my impact gun at work is the m12 and it does everything i need it to so uh, let me dig this thing out of the box. I uh, He had one on the truck as display. I don't know if I can do any of this one hand. And I just looked in, seen it was there. and Yeah, this is going to take two hands. Hang tight to this half sec. Yeah, buddy, check that thing out. Is that cool or what? It's still got the little protective thing on it. You know what's funny? If you look at this one, you can see the little... Little tag, removal tag. I've never even taken that one off. I've been running that thing for a couple of years. That's a bad boy right there. Let's clunk a, clunk a battery in this thing right quick. Ooh. Ooh, it's got memory. Look at that. It's got memory modes. You can switch doesn't switch oh probably because i haven't done anything with it nice so how do i switch units maybe it's broke already i don't know does it run the other one actually oh it's got a minimum of 10 psi so we won't get rid of the, the little one yet <laughs> I can hear that thing besides the high speed buzzing noise. I can hear that thing <laughs> sucking. Nice little soft anti vibration things there. And then, just like the little one, it's got adapters. Is it a longer hose? Yeah, it's a much longer hose. Heck yeah. It's got the thing, the different fittings for different, different items. And you got just a little blower thing. You can do your little. Baseballs, footballs, and whatever. This is this cord, and it's got the same little adapters. I guess maybe a foot longer. That was not real sure. I don't want that metal to whack Kelly's. I just popped it in there. Want the whack Kelly's bike here. But check that bad, mama jamma out right there. I love that. It's just like the the little one. You got everything you need all in one nice little tight package here. 
Yeah, I can do car tires and everything else with that thing. They warn you not to try to do any kind of a car tire. Although I've done, you know, like, flirty for tires. But I'm just topping them off, too, you know. That's pretty cool. Man, that thing's got some girth to it. <laughs> that makes this thing just almost seal. See in here. I'll let you dangle in the breeze there for a second. Hang tight. Hang tight. Yeah, that's a substantial difference in size, isn't it? Yeah, big weight difference. I don't care. It's better than dragging that hose out. You can see the PSI zero. I don't hardly ever use air at work. The only thing we use air for is literally blowing things off, you know, as you're cleaning it and you blow it dry it off and just crap like the spider I was working on today as you're taking those bolts out that micro encapsulated loctite goes everywhere so uh anyway I blow all that stuff out of the way because it looks nasty but that's bad bad boy so hopefully you can get some M18 batteries there must be a chip in there or something <laughs> Cornwell guy goes man I don't know I keep ordering them and they just never show up so you need to have some M18 batteries. Most people have Milwaukee stuff. You've probably got these batteries laying around. So um, anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. It's a little end of the day in the rain chit chat with you. How about that? Who doesn't love tools, right? Well, hello there, YouTube. On a nice, wet Friday night. Yes. Feels, almost feels like wintertime out here. What's the temperature now? It's like 46 or something. Yeah. Not changed much from what it was, but man. Anyway, started out great. Drove the MDX. It was nice and sunny and it was nice. Rain was. kicked in before we got home. So she, uh, actually, it, it stopped and it dried off when we were coming up the hill. Just light sprinkles. So at least I didn't put it away wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it was a busy day. So busy, I didn't hardly record anything at work. Just one of them days. Yeah, it's a, it was crazy Friday. Yep, yeah, freaky Friday. But uh, I guess on that, I ain't got a whole lot to say. You, you got anything? No, I'm good. I think between work and vlogging and whatever, I done said it all. I know. My mind's mushy, mushy from work. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to roll out. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Pray for a break in the weather. I don't think yeah. there's going to be, but we can hope. We can hope. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see you in the we'll morning. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching now. Bye. Bye-bye.